Hello, my name is Mike Alley, and I'm president of Fifth Third Bank here in Indianapolis. But more importantly, I'm chairman of the Making a Difference campaign. People have asked me, why are you involved in the Making a Difference campaign? Well, as you review the film over the next few minutes, you will realize the critical impact this campaign will have on our inner city schools, but even more important, the impact it will have on our entire community. Now we need to go to writing the rough draft. Okay, so you need to start with what you have here. They're desperately seeking the same opportunities for their children that the rest of the uh, community, even in the urban, suburban areas, enjoy. <laughs> First of all, I hope they'll come away with a, a solid conviction that they need God. I hope they come away with a sense of self-confidence, uh, having discovered what their particular skills and values are. Everyone can make a difference. I hope they'll come away with a conviction that they are citizens. I think it's wonderful. It's a nice opportunity and a chance. We've got to get these kids with a basic, good foundation for education, or we're going to lose them. I believe we as an archdiocese believe that providing an education provides a key to freedom. We decided to commit ourselves to maintain a strong Catholic presence both in our parishes and in particular in our eight uh, center city schools. It teaches you good things and, and, you, do it. and, you, get, and you can get a good education. I chose the same to uh, send her to St. Rita because I wanted total education for my daughter. I like the family atmosphere that they have here. On the whole, he, he loves to come here. They enjoy the atmosphere here. She. She. I wanted her to be in a supportive, nurturing environment. My hope for every child that comes to this school is to provide a quality education and a caring and loving environment and to help them reach their full potential. Every child here is my child. We demand a lot and we don't have a lot of the financial resources so we're very creative. The parents are involved at St. Rita's um, by doing things. It's a real strain on the budget but these are things that I've chosen to make those sacrifices. Uh, many of our parents work 13 hours a day, um, two jobs, three jobs, just to have their children come here. Well, an investment is key in a child's education. For one, you're talking to a person that works two jobs, and I'm a full-time student. So your children are your future. We're looking for the best education that we can give our children. And I mean, sure, I could have a big home somewhere else, because I could take that money and put it onto the money that I'm making on my house payment now and be somewhere else, but that's not important to me. I'd much rather pay for them to go to school than to sacrifice them to be in an environment that is not conducive for learning. He does get a lot of homework, but uh, we stated to each other that at least that is preparing him for college. I want him to be an achiever. What I want for her is what I think any parent would want, the ability to do whatever she chooses to do. The parents are making sacrifices to send the children to a parochial uh, school. They expect more out of their kids, and as you well know, kids deliver what you expect from them. With the quality of education they're getting here, I think it will take them wherever they want to go. We help individuals build self-confidence, but they also, uh, through our various programs and in the classroom as well, learn that they are partners in a society and in a community. They're giving you the opportunity to become something or someone. Well, what is absolutely fascinating is that we've plotted the test scores of kids from same neighborhoods going to Catholic schools versus Indianapolis public schools. And after the third year, third grade, every year that a child is in a Catholic school, 
he or she does enormously better than the child in the public school. And but I believe that um, the biggest difference for the children is there are fewer students, therefore the ratio per child to teacher is lower. Because Ms. Huckleberry, she's a nice teacher. She gives me good grades and I appreciate it. And she does good work. Uh, we have uh, teachers in the parochial school system who have uh, degrees, who have licenses, who have everything a teacher is supposed to have, and yet they're willing to work for substantially less dollars in the parochial school system. Uh, that is commitment. You ask me to look at the numbers, and uh, they're very, very powerful. Uh, essentially, the archdiocese uh, is doing for roughly $2,700 what the public school system is doing for close to $7,000. Uh, I think that it's the neighborhood concept. I think it's parents' involvement. I think it's the lack of the bureaucratic red tape. I think it's each school standing on its own. So one of the best things we can do as good Catholics, as good Christians, as good citizens, is to help break the cycle of poverty. <laughs> In the 1960s, my family didn't have any money to pay the tuition for me uh, at Catholic grade school, in Catholic high school, or into a, a, a Catholic college, a Jesuit college. Uh, but that money was made available by others. It was made available by the government. That government money is not available today. Uh, the families who uh, supported me in that, uh, that role, uh, I'll be eternally grateful to. It's our obligation today to make the same opportunity available uh, for today's underprivileged family. What the Catholic school system does through scholarships or subsidies is provide poor parents with the same opportunities the middle class parents have, which is to kind of find a way out for their children. Something really important to remember is that all of the money raised in this campaign will be used directly for scholarships for our kids. Uh, I think that if, if, if parents are willing to sacrifice and stay uh, within the community, then I think uh, it's just a good business investment for the corporations in the community to invest in the young people too, because that's where you're going to get your workers. That's going to be your workforce 2000. We see uh, diversity being important to us, cultural diversity in the future. We're going to have to recruit from areas that uh, we possibly haven't had uh, a background of recruiting from. So having the inner city uh, uh, students come forward with good, solid education is going to be very, very important to us in the future. Let me see you put your fingers on them. Very good. Oh, very nice color. Thank you. And the thing that we're interested in is getting people who are accountable and are responsible, who we know are going to be the work every day. There are 5,000 jobs here. Uh, there could be many, many more. Uh, we need to have a workforce. We are here training your future employees how to be on time how to follow through on what you say you're going to do, how to solve problems. I went to um, elementary school, high school, and college in Catholic schools. And so I can say that my uh, total foundation for learning was derived from Catholic schools. <laughs> I, like to think I'm, I like to think I'm living proof that uh, because of the education, because of the foundation that I got from my Catholic education in high school, that it prepared me to go on to college and it prepared me to take uh, uh, my place in the community. If the uh, Catholic school was not successful in many of these neighborhoods, there would be no chance of success in these neighborhoods. You know, there really is an investment to be made here in the community. It's a successful program. Thousands of disadvantaged children want to be a part of it. We believe that the business community needs to make these funds available for the parochial center city schools uh, because of the job they're doing. It's our obligation to reach out to all the folks who are neighbors, and especially those most in need. But the fact is that, that providing excellent education, the investment that it requires gets larger and larger, and it's something that we can't continue to provide on our own. And so we ask those who, who have a vested interest in Center City to help us do it. We're all going to end up with something we can be proud of. I want to build buildings for people. 
When I grow up, I'd like to be a writer. A doctor. Be a firefighter. Basically just do something that'll help other people. Well, I just want to make a difference in the world. I think everybody wants to make their mark. A pediatrician. A lawyer. A ballerina. A school teacher. A doctor. I hope you will seriously consider a gift to this campaign. This short-term effort is raising scholarships for the next two years. The Archdiocese hopes to continue to build on this success so that we may provide scholarship monies well into the future.